honest. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, do you know what uh, character TTC is going to be playing? Yeah, today? they're playing uh, Mark. He's locked as Mark. Character. Okay. Yeah, one of his many characters. Yes. And they're going straight to Definitely FD, is. and they're not hand warming. They're going right into oh, it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. No, already, this, already uh, bloodthirsty. Yeah, it's really cool because I feel like this is the this is going to be the prime example of watching a tenfold Mark, a Mark versus a very skill strong Mark, right? Like. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Oh, oh my God. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Already off to a interesting start there. Yeah. So, PEI, Green Marth, obviously yeah. with the tag. Yeah. Very, very good pepper by TTC, yeah, buying out the non sweet spot. Yeah, he edge guards real well. If you're off stage against TTC, you're probably <laughs> not going to make it back. Yeah, it sounds about right. Um, Dash dance game right now. Oh my goodness. It's so, it's almost like, I don't want to say identical, but it's, it's real close. Yeah, these marts are definitely a equal skill level. What? What? I, I, I wouldn't agree. Well, I think no, that. not equal. Okay. <laughs> Their movement <laughs> right, is right, right. of equal level. Although we are seeing some really nice things from Die Hard right now. Yeah, he is he's doing a little bit of work. You know, taking one stock from Andrew, that's not something to, to take lightly, right? Yeah, it's definitely going to do some good work for Spook. Oh! Oh! Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. They okay. had the same idea there. Okay. But simple F smash cleans up the stock. Now, the Marth ditto on FD might be my favorite ditto to play on FD. Is that right? I think so. Any particular reason why? It, it, it totally comes down to who has the better spacing. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, and it's, it's, it's similar to like the Fox and Falco where the better player just wins. It's, 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 not, it's not a character. It's not a... You know what I mean? Like it's it's, yeah. it's purely see who's the better skill level. Yeah, I can I can agree with that. And it's not too often that Marth recovers from above, anyways. Fortunate. That, that's <laughs> that's a, that's a, from TTC. Yeah, that's a tough uh, stock to lose there for PEI. Yeah. Uh, you can't lose a stock in a crew battle, right? Like you gotta hold on to them very dearly. Yeah, they're worth way more than they are. So. I think Diehard gets one more stock. Just um, one more. Mm, Not anymore. I, I was gonna Not say. Anymore. I was gonna say if he baits a whiff, he might have a chance. Here we and go. He, he's still showing some breath right now. He definitely dies hard. <laughs> Die hard. Ooh, good clang. I love. I love a good clang. It's definitely in TTC's favor though, and I think that'll That's wrap it. That'll it do up. it. Oh, okay. No, that'll, that'll do it. Okay. That'll do it. Okay. That'll do it. All right. Well, good showing from Die Hard. Takes two stocks from TTC. Oh, takes half of. Arguably the best player on the crew. On the crew, Pro yeah, I would agree. Now again, it isn't, it isn't uh, TTC's main character, but True. I'm not making Johns for him for any uh, whatsoever. No, certainly but, not. Yeah, like, PEI no. is going to go full gung ho in this crew battle. Oh, absolutely. And they, they're going to take every stock they can afford. Oh yeah, they're sure. they're sending in. I think they're sending in Term, the Sheik player. Oh, okay, that's a name I've heard before. Yeah, he's he he did some pretty big work to Newfoundland at their at the crew battle in, at Gommel right this yes. year. So. Kind of made a name for himself after that. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know how he did in his bracket at that tournament, but... He definitely uh, had a show in the crew battle. In the crew battle, yeah. Uh, Four-stocking uh, Newfoundland's top player. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it was the it was the Sheik uh, Samus matchup. Sheik Samus? Yeah, against, against uh, Blue Falcon or uh, Blue Fancy. Falcon. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Right, his tag is Fancy. Yeah. Okay. Fancy. But... Uh, Okay. So what stage do you think we're going to see? Um, Marth Sheik, do you know what term prefers? I, I would say Dreamland, personally, because the platforms are too high right. for it. And it makes recovering as Sheik a little bit. You have more options. You can go to ledge or you can go to uh, platform, and mm -hmm. you, you won't get punished as hard. But I can also see the appeal to FOD. Yes, right? I know I know a lot of Sheiks love FOD. Yeah, I mean, it's early kills, right, with your fair. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's a matter of do you want to live longer or do you want to get quick stocks? Yeah. Well, it all comes down to his play style, right? It and looks like Dream. It looks like he wants to keep his stocks. Yeah. And I mean, that's pretty important for crews. Yeah. So oh, I can yeah. understand the logic behind it. All right, now. And he's got to drop one more stock. 
And 7.45, I believe we start? Yes, we are. Yep. There we go. The, that needle is the equivalent of a gunshot being fired. Yeah, it's... I really like this matchup, actually. Like, I, yeah. I, there's not a whole lot of matchups I don't like, to be honest. <laughs> and this is... Uh... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Two, two, two. Two here. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. That wasn't safe. No. No cross-ups. No. I think Kerm's trying to... He's a little too aggro right now. Oh! oh the call-out. Okay. And uh, TTC getting a little fancy here. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is that TTC's very well-versed in this. In that matchup, yes. Here we go! Yo! Okay! The Zelda... She yes! Oh, okay. coward. <laughs> Alright, gets up smash. Doesn't get strong enough. But honestly, that was probably... You see a lot of Sheiks switch to Zelda. For the recovery. For the recovery. Yeah. But they don't, when they, if they do get back, they just lose it anyways. And then they have to restart as Zelda. And then that's, that's no good. Yeah, because... Term did a really good yeah. job of getting back with Zelda and making something of it. Yeah, yeah. No, that fair from Life is actually really smart. It almost caught him, too. Oh. TDC just seems to be reading the rolls away. Yeah. Like, or behind. We had a nice little opening for the term, but you can see the eyes out of it. The jab pressure in the corner. The Martha is a little too high of a percent to try and follow up a down throw with any tilt, it seems. Yeah. What he's, honestly, what he could probably fish for right now is a little bit of middle camping. Yeah. Kind of, kind of lame, but uh, Mark's at that awkward percent where he just can't hang. quite go for kill yet. Yeah. But, uh, Ooh, that forward smash is... Uh, just waits out the, the the spot dodge. Like. Yeah. Okay. TDC is one of the most patient players. Like, he's in no rush to take stocks. No, exactly. Although we do have a timer for this group battle, which is interesting. Okay, finally he has some gas fill. Grab ledge. Uh, I feel like he dropped Ooh. down a little too late. A Andrew might get, you know, take take out two of the players. I think he might. Uh, that's a. Okay, there we go. There. That's a good follow up. I was gonna say he could have gotten reverse fair, but that, that won't clean it up. No, not yet. Little. I think he might be a little nervous because there was some hesitation in that nerd, uh, yeah. turn around. Oh, that tipper might actually seal it. He's on Go ledge. Jump. There we go. Back throw. Oh. Yeah. Back throw. Oh! Spot dodge. Okay. Andrew did not. I did went not. back through, but there he still go. cleans the stuff. Still cleans All right. Out. Good stuff from turn. Really interesting because you the whole match you would see TTC kind of wait out that mm -hmm. spot dodge, and then he doesn't, and he still does the spot dodge. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Crazy. Wow. Right. Well, now the question remains: Who's going to be going to send in? Now? I think. I think it might be. We have one chic stock. One chic stock left to take. And we have three spaces of bell. No. Uh, so. Well, NB, yeah, I'm not too and, familiar with the crew. NB had to change their crew from okay. what it was originally going to be. Right, because there were players. The two, were... the two St. John boys had left. And we had to start, kind of Yo, thing. Yo, get me in there. That's cool. Well, we, you know, it's, uh, so they have TTC, and actually they have Gliz, who's going to be going up in now, and he's playing Fox in this crew battle. I guess it looks like nobody's really too sure what characters they're going to be playing in these crews today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, you got Dwaddle playing, uh, Okay, so Dwaddle's coming up with Fox. Yeah, and he actually did pretty good in his bracket today. He, I heard. Yeah, he went he, on a little bit of a run, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He, I think, finished second in his pool. Second? Oh, good uh, stuff to Dwaddle, then. Yeah, he was in the same pool as Weem, who was his other, like, notable. Yes, was, like, that was definitely keeper. his notable win. Yeah, he, he won that in loser's semis, I, I guess. I think he denied Weem of top 24. That's possible. I, I can't remember who was in his pool, but he did well. And uh, so did Germ, but... 
Did no, Pyramid get out, you know? Um, I can't remember. He probably did in... Well, no, I guess because PM is only... Probably no, in, he made it out in PM. He made it out in PM? All right. Yeah, I believe he is on loser side, though. Loser side, okay. Yeah. So, one sheet stock. Are the counter picks then no longer usable for other members of the same team? What do you mean? Like, um, so Dwaddle chose FD as his counter pick. Right. Say the next PEI player comes in and takes the rest of Dwaddle stocks, and let's say Blizz comes in and he's playing Ices. Is he allowed to then counter pick to FD once again? Yes. Okay, so there's no there's no bands or strikes or anything at all involved in this. No. Okay. The player entering the crew can go, can start, can any of the legal stages. Any of the legal stages. Okay. Exactly. Uh, except for like the uh, the devil's counter pick of Congo Jungle or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 I'm no. Any of the singles. Does New Brunswick the use Congo Jungle as a counter pick? Because I know uh, NS does. You can, but. It's strongly it's discouraged. A, yeah, yeah. Like, technically, yes, but why would you? Like, it doesn't have that many benefits, to be honest. And it's it's just on our, on the CRTs, it's just way too dark because a lot mm. of our players like to play dark characters. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, who benefits from it? aside from maybe double puff with sharking shenanigans? I can't really think of yeah. anything. So. No, it's uh, it's in our rule set, but nobody bothers. No, the, it's yeah. always it always comes down to either. FD or Pokemon Stadium because you can see the mm -hmm. most like if it, if it like has has low ceilings to a certain extent especially Pokemon Stadium yeah that you you don't lose sight of your character kind of thing when it gets expanded mm -hmm. term dropping three stocks now before we get started here Let's see what Duwaddle can do so now we PEI is a little bit down right now but you think Hermit can put in some work to make up for his performance if he can take two stocks here if he can take two stocks two stocks is a win for him. Okay. Because he took two from Andrew. Right. Right? So he takes two more, he breaks even. He breaks even, but... Yeah. Now, do you know how well-versed uh, Dwaddle is against Sheep? Uh, I would say pretty well. Pretty uh, well? Yeah. Uh, Who does he have to play around? There's, um, well, he doesn't play much anymore, but there's a, there is a sh uh, Sheik player. Actually, uh, his tag this year, uh, th at this event, was uh, Joel. So... That's the guy that he would play with who, play, who played Sheik, but mm -hmm. he doesn't play very much anymore. But, you know, there's still, like, uh, there's a few St. John uh, Sheik players, like Riot. Uh, every now and then, Marl Wolf will play with them, kind of thing. So, like, it's hard to not be well-versed in the Sheik matchup, right? Because yeah. there's Sheiks everywhere. I would have gone for fair myself. I would have gone for fair or back air while he was, you know, in that yeah. firebox, right? Just get a... Because uh, Fox being such a fast bar is pretty heavy to set with him. Yeah. He won't die from a sweet spot up here for a while. And I, oh, yeah, let's go! Yeah, that'll clean it up. There you go. Keeps his stocks. Sigh of relief there from Dwaddle. Mm. Looks like they're sending in... I'm probably going to send in uh, like tie-up. I think they're sending in tie-up the Pikachu player. That makes player. sense. Yeah. I think we might see FD again. Pikachu Maybe. Fox. Maybe. Chain grab, right? Right, that's true. I don't know if Ty Chain grabs though. I don't I can't see him chain grab. He's too nice of a guy. <laughs> He's honestly too nice of a guy. No, I can see that. Like, there's nice guys and then there's guys who wanna win everything. Yeah. He's definitely the former. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well still, Pikachu, not a character you see every day. He's quite good too. He's He's super slept on, I think. Like yes. you see someone pick up a, uh, you know, put their icon here on on uh, Pikachu, mm -hmm. and you kind of think, oh, no way you actually play Pikachu. And then <laughs> if they do something, it's like, oh, okay, maybe you do. Yeah. It, it definitely takes it by surprise, but okay. I was going to say. So I will say this too about Tyop. He's so loyal to the Pikachu. Yeah. All right, uh, this is hand warmer. Yeah, just, just, a, just a hand warmer real quick. I was in my pool today. They did hand warmers for until 7.05. A 55 second hand warmer. Who it was, was disgusting. It was, I can't remember who it was, but it was long and it was... Oh. I was like, guys, I'm, I'm cutting that at seven. <laughs> like, a minute is enough. I would have said like 25 seconds. Because if you do like, I don't know, what is it? How, what's, what's the regular input per second? Uh, like seven? 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 seven. Yeah, that sounds right. I so like, Toronto. So like, think about, there's no way they did... 3,500 inputs, right? Like, 
Like, if they did seven inputs a second for They're 50 doing, seconds, yeah, yeah. their hands are plenty warm. Like, well, I guess maybe they want to make sure their controllers are whatever. doing what they want them to. But yeah, pushing pushing a minute is definitely an excess. All right. Dio kind of looks like he's trying to go for that those grabs pretty early. Yeah, he's fishing a little too hard, and we see uh, Waddle kind of realizing this, yeah. working his way around a bit. He's just, he's just shooting a gun. He's racking that damage up. He doesn't know the combos that he can do. He doesn't yeah. Know. So I feel like he just... Okay. Oh! You have ledge guard, but I think he's coming back, yeah. How do you snap to that ledge? How do you snap to that ledge? Be... Fox privilege, man. Fox privilege. Okay. Got the 20xx practice, all right, forward kill. Up air, wrong angle. Uh, wow, still works. there we go. All right. I'm a little little disappointed that Ty doesn't use the party hat Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, he's just using vanilla. Yeah. That's the allure of playing Pikachu. You get to put hats on. Oh, yeah. Oh, really good second hit up air. There we go, there we go. Yeah, Pikachu in the air against Fox. Not really any options. Here we go. All right, chain grab, he drops it. Gets the, the cheeky Racking little jab. damage. In. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and I feel like Dwaddle knows that he can get chain grabbed. So yeah. he is just- Any, Anybody that's ever watched Axe knows that a Spacey is at risk of getting chain grabbed. And if uh, Ty have just pulled it out of his hat and said, hey, I can actually do this, he's gotta be very wary Grabs. Nice recovery. Very good recovery. Here we go. He might actually convert. Yes, there we go. I love Pikachu going in deep. I, oh yes. man, that is so sick. It's such a treat to watch. It is so sick. There we go. Okay, tech chase. Okay, a little too far away. High up is doing a lot of you know, a lot of good things here. He really is. He's playing the matchup really well. He he's accepting those lasers. Like Dwaddle's not approaching. Yeah. He's shooting that laser. He's shooting that gun. He's starting to approach a little bit more. And I feel like he's doing that because he's behind. Like he's uh, he has a little bit of a deficit. Mm -hmm. So he's changing up his style a little bit. But uh, no, I think this is uh, this is uh, and it might be the first time these players have played against each other. Yeah, I can't remember any time I've seen these two play. No. But um, yeah, I definitely see what you mean about adapting. Because now we don't see Waddle yep. using lasers anymore. Yeah, he's not, he's not shooting that laser. Yeah, he seems to realize that Ty is just playing a little bit more aggro. And like Ty can take those like lasers don't kill. Yeah. Right. So you can you can get sh shot with a gun a few times. Whatever. Just don't when they approach. Just you know receive their approach well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw that Tyup definitely didn't in that situation. <laughs> with uh, rather early KO. In that situation. There it is. Answers back with an up smash of his own. One stock each. It's quite a tight battle. All right. Sticking to the gun again. Racking up a little bit of damage. And they're both trying to use their projectors the best they can, but yeah. Fox definitely wins on the whole better projector. 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 The better His projector. gun is a re much better projector. Yeah, dude. He screams um, melee right off of it. Look at the projector. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. PEI seems to be, I don't want to say like notorious for it, but they spot dodge quite a bit. Yeah, they do. They term did. Uh, I wonder if that might be because of PM, if that has anything oh, to do with it. Oh, it could be. Dwaddle taking all four stocks, but it wasn't an easy four stock. It, it, it wasn't an easy was. four stocks to take. He I just he, definitely he, ran it close there. He had to pay three to get them, but mm -hmm. he is a. Uh, so he's taken five stocks so far because he took one off the turn. Yeah. And now he's taking four off tie up. So Dwaddle again, showing showing everybody what's up pretty well. Yeah. Now we got Amaranth coming in. All I right. believe he plays Peach. Peach against. Okay. He must be going to Dreamland. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of. Because there's no bands, right? True. Yeah. And I guess for one stock of Fox, that makes sense. Yeah. He definitely wouldn't want to do a full uh, 4v4 unless you know for a fact that Peach is the better player. Yeah. Dumb. Yeah, Dreamland. Alright. No surprise here. No. Classic Peach counter pick. I mean, the only other one I could really think of would have been FOD. Yeah. But I feel like having narrower walls and a shorter ceiling isn't as beneficial as having a higher ceiling. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fox like the, definitely tries to go for those like the, Now, the only thing that you might see from Dwaddle here, and this is something that 
I don't know. I, I think a lot more foxes should do is just hang on that top platform. There it is. Yeah. Right? Like, what's, what's Peach going to do? She really has no answer to she it. She can throw a turn up. That's and it. That, yeah. And I don't think Fox is too worried about a turn up. Waddle playing Metro really well right now. Just working around yeah. any hitbox that Peach wants to throw out. And playing hot and cold with the laser and throws. And yeah. There it is. Only takes 33% on that first stock there, but. Now here's the question. Do we see Waddle take out the rest? The rest? No, you won't see that. No. Uh, it's about Saggy. I feel like Saggy can take it. Alright. And I feel like I feel like Amaranth can take a, maybe take this stock. Alright, well let's change that to will he take one more stock for me? Yes. Yes? Yes. You're feeling it? I am. Questionable turn up throw. Ooh. I mean if Amaranth is just maybe one one more down speed. Amaranth had him at the edges for a while, but he gives him center stage after dropping a few edge cards. There's one. Down smash. I do use the uh, ledge before I can do anything. Uh oh, no jump. No. Needs to recover, and they're nothing. We're living. You're living. I mean, this is Dreamland, right? Yeah, That's but that, it, that'll definitely close it out. Oh, oh okay, so. here we go. Here we go. Again, do all just put on that, that gun game right now? Yeah, like, he's switching between hot and cold super well right now. Yeah, like. Ooh, that might be it though. Uh, no, 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 it's back. definitely not. Uh, oh. Same situation again. That'll there do it. Waddle oh, finally right. going down. Yeah, that was seven After going stocks. Going crazy seven, seven stock stocks. run. Seven stocks. Good for him. Good yeah. for him. It's definitely been a good tournament for him. Yeah, oh yeah. Be interesting to see who NB sends in next. It's a um, peach, so I feel like we might not see this. No, Dustin's not playing anymore. Dustin. Oh, oh yeah, right, Duval they switched to Dustin's okay. spot. Okay. So now, can we names for NB? We uh, definitely have Evan. You have Evan. Um, you definitely have, you have Luigi, Matt, you have Jer. Uh, and I think, yeah, those three. And Joe. Oh, Joe's left too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call for... Jer? Jer! Are you also kind of yeah. working as the head of the NB crew? Yeah, uh, a little bit. I mean, I had to... I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I picked the players, but in, con in consultation with a few other players around the region, mm -hmm. uh, we had an original team, and it was actually like a pretty good team. Uh, a few players left off, but mm -hmm. just because I didn't think... Like, some... There's little hot spots in... New Brunswick for their regions right now, where St. John, for example, is so young, and I feel like if we give them this like exposure, this on stream, on a stage projector, mm. you know, get them used to this kind of thing, it'll definitely, yeah, it would pay off for that particular city and those like three or four players who are really yeah. hot in St. John right now. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to have like two players play from St. John, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Duaddle was one of them. Duaddle's uh, one of uh, St. John's best players, if not the best. Um, after after this showing, I I, I well, say it's good running for him. Yeah, the I don't know. He's he's really cleaned up his neutral game. Like he's always yes. been, he's been very good on the you know with the hands, right? But now he's thinking more, right? And now here comes Jared. Jared's just. Did you see Jair's performance at Gommel? At Gommel, he went in. Yeah, I I'd love to see that happen again. Uh, don't know if it will, but... We're in for a treat if it does, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. But, um, Jair, definitely a, a veteran player of the season. Oh, yeah. So. Hands down. He, actually, it's funny. I asked him, like, how long have you been playing for? He's like, only, like, four years. Like, he hasn't been playing that long. Yeah. Compared to, like, other players that we know, right? Like, right. Like, Marty. Yeah, well, I know uh, some guys, and I don't know about NS or PEI, but there's some guys that are from playing for 10 years or something. Uh, NS is fairly new. I feel like they're fairly new. Um, a lot of the Brawl players. Right, right, are right. E they're either on Smash 4 now or like with Parker. And, in LA. and of course, PEI is still rel relatively new. I mean, they've always played it, but they're starting to get it, I don't want to say more seriously, but yeah, they're spending they, more hours. So yeah, they gave harder. more focus to PM, and now that they realize that. Uh, 
that's not getting oh. as much. Oh. Just grabs out of that. Out of that no, I, if, I wonder if he was expecting the there double There we go. Shine. He would have had that Randall recovery too, had the uh, turn up. Yeah. So definitely good turn up coverage. Alright. I will say that Jer has some really nice shield pressure. Yes. Like, it's always different. It's not the same shield pressure. Mm -hmm. He switches up his timings and uh, with both Shining and his aerials. Right. So super, super. But now, Amaranth did handle it quite well. Like, he did get that grab out of it. Mm -hmm. And now... Uh, and he took a stock, too. He did take the stock, right? So now we got uh, Saggy Stardust going in Stardust. with the Ganon. He's, he's definitely a name I've heard before. Yeah, he's, he's quite good at the Project M. Yeah. And he's quite good at the melee. He's at the melees. At the melees. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's corn. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Um, yeah, no, I, I feel like uh, it depends in this matchup, 100%. How good is the Ganon's power shield? Yeah. Right. If you if you can power shield those lasers, you just became that much more intimidating. We've seen these two play earlier. Mm. Yeah. And it was it was a tight tight battle. Really. Yeah, yeah. And Jared, of course, starting at three stocks. Yeah. Once he I think, yeah, he might be, might be doing a little bit more hand warmers. Yeah, the hand warmers is all for Saggy right now. I can't, I can't imagine Jared saying I want hand warmers. He might want some uh, platform practice, maybe. Well, not yeah. practice, but like... Well, his movement's been looking really sharp all weekend so far, so... Jared? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched Saggy play in bracket yet. But, uh, I think the only game I've seen him play so far was against Jared. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> the hope of PEI riding on Saggy Stardust. And his Ganon. And his Ganon. Yeah. Let's see what kind of stage we get. Yeah. Yo, of she's, course. Yeah. Of course. Just take, get that center stage right now. Go down there. There you go. Keep it. I mean, I've Kage in the crowd nodding at the, the choice of Yoshi's. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's probably at 750 they'll start. Yeah. Yep. Sure enough. Oh my Explosive god. Explosive start from Jerry with these combos. Oh my goodness. Really smart there to get out of it though. It's interesting too because. Kage did pay, or not Kage did pay, uh, Sega got the one hour practice Oh, he with, got the lesson he, Yeah, from. he got the lesson with uh, Kage, so... And now this was before, or this was after Jer and him played in bracket, I believe. No. Oh, this was before? It was during Smash 4. Ah, oh, okay. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if, you know, Kage's kind of like watching, seeing Hayden. Hey, if, he, if he's applying oh. what he went through with him, yeah. But, uh, yeah, see if he's applying what he's learned or taught, yeah. right? Uh, oh, Jared, Jared. Had he gone out and getting that up air on him? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he, uh, no, sorry. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. If he had gone out with an up air. Uh, that was sick. Air, that was sick. Calling out the Firefox with fair. Yeah, that super was. Super crispy. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh! Oh! Ho, ho. Here we go. Weird Something that else? that jab sent Jared backwards. Otherwise, he could have gotten a really nice follow up from him. But, There's uh, one. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Get up attack was actually a smart choice. Good back air. Okay. We definitely see that Kage practice pain off. But now Jared also has a little bit of Kage practice in him, so... Yeah, that's true. I mean... Not too much of his Ganon. No. So now Jared's probably just fishing for a, either a hit he or just stuff. Wants a yep. He wants a shine. He wants something. He wants to get another chain going here. I was going to say, he wants a laser to stuff any approach, and that leads to a safe either jab or something that'll pop him up. It's really hard to like just get rid of the approaches on this small stage because yeah. you're always right near him. Mm -hmm. He had an opportunity there with that cross up on his shield. Shield getting real small right yeah. now. If if if, uh, if Jer can get in on some shield pressure because Oh Seki he's is just gonna too... try and space him out with those back airs now. Jer only being at 75 Ooh. is still a death percent. Yeah, especially on this stage yeah. in, in this matchup. Jer cleans it up with a back air of his own though. That up here we go. And okay, goes high. Oh, okay. That'll do it. That'll do it. Jab kills. Jeff? Yeah. Alright. 
we got? Wow, we have, uh, Eric. <laughs> Trying to hunt down the player that we're gonna send in tonight. Oh, there we go. Slowly but surely. He approaches the stage now. Alright, alright, alright. Joe Daniels. Now we're probably gonna see Sheik from him, right? No, 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 no. You don't know the Joe, do you? I don't. He, I believe, undisputed, best Mario in Atlanta, Canada. Best Mario. Atlanta, Canada, hands down. It is so crisp. Like crisp is the word I think of. Like it's he, he's. Well, he's playing regular Mario, so yeah, he can playing, definitely toast he'll, some he'll people. probably be what Mewtwo. Okay. Uh, Battle of the Shadows? Maybe. His, his Mario is really good, but his... Uh, do you know anything about his Mewtwo? Uh... <laughs> have you seen it before? I have, but, like, I was playing, like, Roy against it, so... Like, just, it was just a low tier, like... like uh, uh, does Sega know that he has to drop two stars? Se uh, Sega has to drop two. <laughs> Yeah, pause is off, so... Look, look at these look at these turnaround wave dashes. He tried to do something cool. I don't know why pause is off. What's, why would it be off? Well, I mean, there's no icy, so why would anybody <laughs> have to mash? And they're not playing doubles anymore, so... Yeah. Such an ominous cry, dude. Wow. It would have been cool if they did like the like the Pokemon like when it appears like the Pokemon cry like the. Oh yeah, I think they do that in PM, right? Maybe when he when he appears on stage. Oh, that's possible. That's yeah. very possible. Yeah, that definitely would have been a nice little Easter egg for melee. Alrighty, here we go. All right, let's see this Mewtwo put in some work. Is we're we're gonna we're gonna see these characters disappear fairly frequently with them as that uh, shadow element. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what, what options and- oh! 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 I'm telling you. Okay. I'm this all you. makes sense then. Yeah, he's- I have heard of the legend of boat. The boat. He is the boat. Yeah, he is, uh... I asked him what, like, boat- if, if, it, if it was, like, an acronym for best of all time, and he's like, no. No, dude, he's repping the NB flag. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. That provincial pride. Ah, uh, little. All right, okay. You know, good job, Saggy, on that one. Yeah. That was... This ma this makes for kind of a little hard to commentary because what does you two want to do? I, I feel like a grab. Like he definitely wants to look try at these up the airs. Chases. Oh my! But now up airs hitbox is kind of weird. It is weird. All right, stuffing an approach with Nair. Gets oh okay. what? I think he might have tried to shield grab a little too early. I'm just surprised I hit him. Yeah. No, it has a deceptive horizontal hitbox, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Neutral B turn around. Probably to spark him, but uh There we go. Nothing to fist bone out range. Try oh, to get no. cheeky with a spike. Okay. Doesn't lose the stock for it, but here we go, okay. here we go, here we go. Start something up. Uh, that's not a safe that approach. That could have been a shield grab. Yeah, Joe doesn't shield grab though. Not that often. But. No? Okay. He likes to do all his options on a shield that he has. Oh! Ooh, gets it. After fishing for it. Gives him a taste of his own medicine. Yes. All right. Okay. This kind of reminds me of like that uh, that event, like the Giga Bowser one. Yes. Because Giga Bowser always dies first, right? Yeah, so you're always just left with Ganon and Mewtwo. Right. No. On FD. Yeah, yeah. I guess now we're kind of seeing what would happen if uh, they could fight each other. The ultimate battle. Okay, okay. Joe, Joe shrugs it off. <laughs> Legitimately. Oh, a little bit of something started. Edge guard. Oh! Oh, uh, tries to he go wanted for to go again. for it again. Yeah, so bad. Here we go. Yeah, heck of a way to end it. But uh, Great off, say, off ledge there. Yeah. Oh no, he's living. Oh, PEI at 140%. Oh, oh the slippiest of wave dashes. Or 
ledge dashes at it. Interesting loop by me too. Here we go. Okay. They're both at incredibly like. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not, not like, like this! this. No! no. Oh. That, mm, oh, that's uh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, that is truly heartbreaking. After after that match. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's.